thanks for your invitation. I'm very happy to be here and I'm very proud to bring you the congratulations of the 1.2 million European Salai of Doctors. Mr. President, you just said we are facing a difficult situation. We are facing a financial crisis we never know all over the world. But I think in healthcare, we are dealing with a very difficult and very precious human being. We are not producing cars. We are dealing with human being. So the European Commission issued the 2011 action plans and underlines that to have and to maintain a good healthcare system is very important for the future. Because this means healthy workers, healthy population, healthy elderly people, they are staying at work, and so on. So this, says the European Commission, is one of the very important point for the future of the financial situation of the European Union. Second, there is probably something to change. I'm coming from France. I have two problems in my life. Two problems, I'm a Frenchman and I'm an anesthesiologist, you know. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Probably the social, the social model we have in the occidental part of Europe has probably has to be changed. We cannot go this way anymore, probably not, surely not. So we have all to work together to change this, to elaborate a common social model on our European continent. This is very important because this means peace. If you have social problems, we have no peace anymore on, in our continent. And this is not the way you want to go. Since we have the European Union, in my area, in Strasbourg, in Alsace, between Germany and France, it's the first time in the last 1,000 years that we have 50-year peace. We are strongly for Europe. We have to work on a new social model and the place of the self-governing bodies of the medical professions, the chamber, the trade unions, the Medical Association is very important. Recently, the president of the World Medical Association underlined some attacks we know now for two or three years. Recently, in Republic of Slovakia, in Turkey, in some other European countries, against, in Hungary, against the medical chamber, against the trade union, this is not the way to go because the self-governing bodies of the doctors in Europe are probably the guarantee, say the president of the World Medical Association, for the patient to maintain free access to good health care. So please, work with us. But we have to work with the governments. We have to work together because we are a European family. I know here in this country you began recently the social dialogue about your 40 proposals, Mr. Prime Minister. This is the way to go. Because the only solution, and for the patient safety, the only solution we can elaborate, it's in common. Thank you very much.